Hi. Today we're going to do a song called Freight Train. It's a traditional, well not traditional, it was actually written by a woman named Elizabeth Cotton. I don't know how long ago, 50, 60, 70 years ago. And this is a song which is based on this simple Travis pick, which I cover in my first video about Travis picking. That's the pick. first and second fingers. So I'm going to do it through a simple version using just that pick and then I'll play it through a few more times getting slightly more complicated as I go and then at the end I'll try to explain what, of, what I'm doing, okay? Or some of what I'm doing. Here we go. Okay, so here's the first line. And up here with your left hand, you're on a C chord, and with your pinky, you're playing the first string third fret and open. By the way, I've got my capo on the second fret here. Okay, so again, first string open. I mean, first string third fret, sorry. Then open. Then 2nd string, 3rd fret, and then 1st fret, which it already is on from the C chord. So it's... Then you're going to go to a G. You play the open B string, 3rd fret, high string, and 1st fret, high string. Now you're on a G7th chord. And then you go high string, 3rd fret, then 1st fret, then open, and then back to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. This is all while on a G chord. And then C. 1st fret, 2nd string, and then 1st string, 3rd fret, then open. And then E. Now what I do is bring this middle finger, I mean pointer finger, down and grab the first fret of the E string and then open. So it's... And then third fret on the B string. All on E chord. Then an F, you can either play it simply like this. Which is the first fret on the second string to the third fret. And then back to the C chord with the open E. Then second string, first fret, which it already is on from the C. Then you change to a G. Open B 
B string, third fret B string, and then C. So when I'm playing that opening line, for example, with my right hand, I'm playing my thumb on the A and the D string, and my fingers are on the B and the E. I'm using that Travis pick. So when I add this pinky here on the C, that's going to come out. And then when I come back to that E note, I remove the pinky, and you get that open. Then when I go to the C, again, I move these fingers down to the B string and the G string, because now I'm playing the B string 3rd fret to the B string 2nd fret, and I get this. through that's what I'm doing with my right hand I'm following the melody I tend to put the melody in my middle finger and then G7 quick. Back up so you can see what's going on. It's okay to take this finger off that G string because your thumb is just playing the sixth and the fourth string on that E. And then the F. And like I said, you can play this or you can play the bar. You can tell I had a little trouble with that bar the first time. variations. I started out just with my thumb doing the A string and the D string on the C chord. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing. I'll try to move it this way. And then when I got the C chord, I went to the low G note, the, the third fret on the low E string. And I got a three note bass pattern. So I'm going from the fifth string to the fourth string, then over to the sixth string, I move this finger over, and then I play that fourth string again. So you get this. In terms of variations, I would just vary the timing. So instead of going, I might wait a beat and go one, two, hit that first note on the second beat. Right now I'm going one, two, three, four. But on my variations, I went. that's all pinches. By that I mean you always play with the thumb. Etc, etc. Or do a couple of measures that way and then back to the other way. Okay? I know you're thoroughly confused, but that's okay. Go home and try it. Thanks.